6 a.m. I'm exhausted. I didn't fall asleep until midnight and then woke up at four and then couldn't fall back to sleep. So today will be interesting, but I go back to work today. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. so excited today is my first day back at work post quarantine post um, spring semester I have not worked since January and this is the longest I've gone without working and I'm so excited for those of you who know me know that I am completely and utterly obsessed with my job I am a preschool teacher I work at a preschool this summer specifically I'm going to be one of the toddler teachers and my co-teacher is one of my best friends who I met through work so I'm so freaking excited I miss my co-workers I miss my babies I just I'm so excited I should probably like get going there's Okay, are you done? There's a lot of new policies and requirements and restrictions that were put in place by Massachusetts um, Department of Early Education and Care. So I am also very nervous, definitely equally nervous as I am excited um, to go back just because things are gonna be a lot more strict um, with everything going on with Corona and it's just it's gonna be a lot I know I'm not alone in this but I'm going into work today pretty blind I don't know what to expect I don't know what's going to happen um, trying to keep nine children under the age of three six feet apart seems impossible and yet I'm still just beyond excited to go back I just freaking love my job so like I said um, I'm a toddler teacher and because I work with the youngins, I have a few more restrictions than I would if I worked with like the preschool or the pre-K kids. So I'm not wearing it right now because it was hot as freaking balls in my house. But I have to wear a long sleeve button up shirt to limit like physical uh, contact with them because they need a lot more physical help than the older kids do. Um, always need to wear a mask when I get there and safety goggles. Those, I'm not sure why we have to wear goggles. That's also if you only work with infants or toddlers, um, but we do. I'm not sure why. I'm lucky my kids are young enough that they don't have to wear masks to school. So that's not something I'm gonna have to worry about. Toddlers are my favorite age group to work with. They haven't always been, but they are right now my absolute favorite group and I am just so beyond grateful and just feel so lucky to be able to work with all of them this summer with my best friend. I haven't been to work in six months and like now that I'm starting to drive there I'm getting a lot more anxious but um, I'm still so excited! So it's around 7:45 ish right now. Because of corona and everything we can't have people come into our classrooms to cover breaks so we can't have breaks. So because of that, we're only open eight hours a day. So everyone is going in and leaving at the same time. Like we start at 8.30 and then staff will leave at 4.30, but because it's the first day, I wanna get there early so that I can get all my stuff settled and stuff like that. It usually takes me around 20, 25 minutes to get there. Yeah. 
cornbread with muffins. <laughs> Happy first day back. Our kids are already here apparently, so. Pray for us. So it's one of our coworkers' birthdays and she bought us presents. And, and gave us, us crowns. Bought us pizza and brought us individual cakes. For her birthday. <laughs> Michelle, we love you. One eternity later. We survived. We did it. Kind of. Barely. But we did it. And that in itself is something. How was your first day? It was good. That's good. I'm a savage. Um, long day. Long, 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 long day. So I've been up since 4 a.m. and then I didn't have time to drink any of my coffee today either. So I think I'm just exhausted. Again, I also haven't done this in like six months. So it's safe to say I'm exhausted. I'd say definitely the hardest part for me was not having a break. So normally I would work a day this long, but I'd get an hour break somewhere between 11 and two. And now we don't get those. And definitely by two o'clock, I felt myself hitting my like, oh, I need like my break now. And I was like, too bad, you're not getting one. So that was really hard to deal with of like hitting like two o'clock and being like, you're not getting a break. So like suck it up. So um, that definitely made the day a lot longer and I didn't get a chance to like refuel my energy at all, so that was hard. It was also the first day back at school. You know, my kids are really young, they're sad, they miss their mommies and daddies. I have a lot of new kids in my class um, who had a very, very hard time being separated from mom and dad today and were crying 90% of the day. I had a lot of kids not nap. And I expected all of this, I really did. And I expected to be this tired, so it's not like today was anything that I wasn't expecting. It's just, it's a lot. The first day is gonna be the hardest. It's only gonna go out from here. Some days are gonna be bad, some days are gonna be great. But I'm thankful and grateful for my job every day. And even with the hard day that I had, it wasn't even really a hard day, like I said. Well, it was a hard day, but like I said, it was what I expected. But it was long. What, is the, what am I thinking of? Oh, these. My legs were too long. Every day is leg day. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. So it is 4.51 right now. I'm on my way home. I'm probably going, oh, I'm going to shower. I'm going to literally get out of my car, walk into my house and into the shower. I actually have a team workout with the hip hop team that I'm a part of at my school. Um, we do team workouts every Monday through Zoom, and that's at 7.30 today. I also just remembered when I said that I have a meeting at 6 p.m. through Zoom, too, with the department chair of our dance department um, at my school to <clears throat> talk about some things for the fall that I'm supposed to be choreographing for. So yeah, I just remembered I kind of have a lot to do tonight. Not like a lot, but I can't just like go home and sleep. I have things and responsibilities. I know I keep saying it was a long day, it was a tiring day, and it was, but it was just like, in those hard moments, it was so easy to find something like to smile about, like, oh my God, like the last time I saw these kids was in January, and that's such a big difference in their development for this age of like one and a half to two. Like some of my kids, the words that they have now, I'm like shook. I was blown away, like my heart exploded hearing them talk all day, like big sentences, and I'm just like, who are you? Wait a minute, who are you? Yeah, I, I love my job. much later now than I last checked in and somehow a lot has happened. Like I said earlier, I had a meeting at six with our um, chair of the dance department at my school and got some pretty unfortunate news for not only next fall semester but also next spring semester. 
um, in regards to some of the projects that I was supposed to be working on. So yeah, I'm just really upset. I've just, I've been really excited about these things since um, like my freshman and sophomore year. So it's hard to get some bad news about them. With that being said, I'm so incredibly grateful for the creativity and the dedication of the dance department and my dance professors. And I just feel so supported and so encouraged to put art out into the world any way that I can right now. And that's what I'm going to try to do. And I had my team workout and I died per usual. Um, and obviously I showered. And now I'm just watching Vampire Diaries. I just started it in quarantine. I'm on season five right now and I'm obsessed. It's um, tearing me apart, but I'm obsessed. And I don't know why I didn't start this earlier. I originally tried to start it my senior year of high school and then just like never got on board and then tried again during quarantine and now I'm hooked. So, and then I'm also eating this white chocolate raspberry bundt cake that one of my coworkers bought for everyone today actually. For her birthday, she bought us pizza and cake and she got us little gifts. She got us, it's all like kind of like stress relief, which I think is so cute because we're all so stressed all the time at work. So I'm enjoying this seriously delicious cake and I'm gonna watch Vampire Diaries. Oh my God, I cannot get that freaking song out of my head. Why? And it's the same line. I'm a boss, I'm a leader, I pull up in my two seater and my mama was a savage. Yeah, she got that shit from Nina. I'm a savage. Classy, bougie, crazy. All right, listen, if you're like me, here's your reminder to take your damn meds. Take them, get up right now. Go take them, all of them, every single one. If you're like me and you always forget to take your meds, go take them. So it's just 10 o'clock now. I'm exhausted, so tired. I know I mentioned this earlier. I've been up since four, didn't drink my coffee, had a long ass day, had a hard ass workout and it got some not so great news. That was very emotionally not fun. But regardless, yes, thank you. Oh, are we videoing? Yes, but that's okay. Regardless of all of that, I'm, it makes me so happy that my family says goodnight to each other every night and that we love each other. And that's what um, everyone's doing right now. So it just melts my heart a little bit. Regardless of today being a long day with some unexpected news and twists and turns, I'm still so incredibly grateful to be back at work. I've been waiting for this day for th over three months now. I'm so happy to be going back there, working full time, doing something with my life, seeing the kids I love, seeing the people I love kind of for like 30 minutes a day. I'm just, I'm very happy and I'm very grateful. But like I mentioned, I'm exhausted. So I'm going to go journal about my day. I have some things on my mind I wanna just get out on paper and do my gratitude journaling for the day. And then I'm going to probably finish this episode of Vampire Diaries that I'm watching and hit the hay. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, this is my first vlog in a few months. So it was a little rusty, kind of hard to get back in the groove, but I'm very happy that I documented this day. It's a very important one to me and I will see you guys in my next video.